morning, my good people. You know what I'm saying? Rise and shine. If you're on the East Coast, Midwest, or the South, what's happening? All my Bay Area. You know what I'm saying? Good morning. Early bird, get the worm. Real easy. We up. You know what I'm saying? We activated. I just want to say good morning to everyone. I hope everyone has a blessed day. I hope everyone got good sleep. And I'm giving everybody traveling grace. So I'm praying that you reach your destinations, wherever that might be, safe and sound and unharmed. Um, let me get right into this whole R. Kelly thing. It's going to be short, brief, but thorough. You know what I'm saying? From my lens, from my lens crafters, which is my eyeballs, you feel me? How I see it, my perspective. They making an example out of R. Kelly, period. <laughs> period. <laughs> it is a ritual to fuck with young boys and girls. If you were anybody in power, <sighs> anybody well known, anybody that's trying to reach a certain plateau, you know what I'm saying, and join an elite group or status, they fuck with young boys and girls, allegedly. But we know. It's not allegedly, like, that's facts. It's real talk. It's so many different documentaries, you know what I'm saying, on pedophilia and the dirty shit that goes on, you know what I'm saying, in the game. We already know what it is. We already know who's involved in all of this shit. These satanic-ass behaviors and rituals that they pull off. You feel me? So R. Kelly, they're making an example out of R. Kelly. Because, you know, I, I'm going to let you know something. And I'm almost certain and positive that this is what's going on. We don't know everything behind the scenes. See, R. Kelly must have turned down something and said that he was going to come out and speak against something. You know what I'm saying? Or he did he, like, he said, fuck y'all, I'm not doing that. Matter of fact, I'm about to expose all this shit. So they using that man as an example. Guess what? Guess who else they doing that to? Sean Watson. Guess who else they did it to? Bill Cosby. <laughs> but they don't say nothing about them abortion laws that they put in place. <laughs> okay. That they passing all over motherfucking Congress and every motherfucking legislation, state, the local government. Think about that. Think about that old punk ass shit that they trying to do. Because all of these motherfucking politicians and everybody fucking these young girls and boys. Allegedly. That's the game. You seen a Harvey Weinstein shit? You seen it up close and personal. You seen who was all affiliated with that shit. So you think that shit not still going on? You feel me? They had to get a hold of the motherfucking, uh, 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 the co-conspirator of that shit of his girl, the side piece or whatever. She know too much. She was on the spawns way more than what we just seen on the video. That's just what they showed you on the damn documentary. It's way more motherfucking a list than that. And people of notoriety. Think about that. Every time somebody doesn't go along with this punk ass agenda and they got money and a like fame and they want to try to, you know what I'm saying, have ownership and change the game, they always connect them to some sort of sexual abuse or sexual misconduct. Every time. I just named Deshaun Watson. I don't want to play for Ravens. Mind you that he just collected all them millions from them white owners. You feel me? He on a plantation. He's like, I want to win. Fuck that. Yes, I deserve all this money, but I want to win. And it's his right. He's a competitor. He won all his life. But all of a sudden, here come all these women out the woodworks. If that's the case and all of these things happen, why haven't those same women allegedly came to the forefront as soon as the acts were committed. 
You know why? Because Deshaun Watson didn't have no money. He was playing on that rookie contract. You feel me? Now they, they just gave him a max. One of the highest paid quarterbacks in the league. Oh, yeah. We in the money now. And they just start coming out the woodworks. They started off as one. Then it went from one to three. Then it went from three to four. Eight. Then it went from eight to motherfucking seventeen. Then it went from seventeen to damn near fifty. Hypothetical. I'm exaggerating, but you, uh, you get what I'm saying. So all these women are lazy. Where are they finding these motherfuckers at? Do they question the motherfucking Ben Roethlisberger's, the Peyton Mannings? You know what I'm talking about? The owners, the Jerry Jones, the motherfucking uh, Robert Krafts, and all these other motherfuckers. Who into all this illegal shit? They into the same shit. They just bring paying women to say anything now. You feel what I'm saying? You seen it with Bill Cosby. Shout out to them brothers, man. Bill Cosby, Sean Watson, R. Kells. I'm not condoning no act against no child, no pedophilia act at all. That's not what I'm doing here. But it's a pattern. If you see what the pattern is you'll be able to really determine what's really going on. It's something way deeper than this shit. This shit is surface level. This pedophilia shit and all that shit, this shit been going on. There's so many people connected with this shit. It's bigger than that. It's something deeper. And we're not going to find out until later on. It's going to be exposed. The truth always comes to the light every time. Too many Judases out here. There's too many people being paid. Co-Intel Pro. <clears throat> They're being paid a little bit of money. They're being, you know what I'm saying, granted immunity. You know what I'm saying? For whatever stupid, fucked up shit, immature shit that they done did. Ill-advised decision that they done made. Think about this shit. It's way deeper than that. So if you, you know what I'm saying, if somebody, don't accept let me say this. Don't accept to be in their elusive club. Fuck that. Get your money and then, and then get the fuck up out of there. You know what I'm saying? Reinvest your money and then give back to the communities. That's really what it's about. If you're an artist, give back, man. Connect yourself to something that's greater than this. Because money isn't the end-all, be-all. You can't take it with you. <laughs> you feel me? But are we understanding that? Yeah, I'm gonna add generational. That's fine. You can add generational wealth. Buy you some property. Buy you some land. Get ownership. That's how you build generational wealth. Going along to get along is gonna fucking ruin your world in the end. Period. You're gonna be miserable and everything. Cause once you go motherfucking on to the dark side, don't think that you're gonna come back over here. You know what I'm saying? With the people, the motherfuckers that's really out here exposing everything, then that's consciously woke. We don't want you. We want to live regular, normal lives. We want to give back, help people, make this world a better place. You motherfuckers are destroying our future, and our future is young kings and queens. I'm not condoning none of the behavior or none of these acts. These motherfuckers did whatever they did, allegedly, then, you know what I'm saying, there's consequences and repercussions. I'm just talking about the pattern that's going on. And it's always with color folks. You feel me? It's always color folks. Because they don't want you to have any real power. They want to control everything behind the scenes and dictate what you do, what organizations that you and charities that you give to. You know what I'm saying? Because all that shit is a tax write-off. You feel me? These motherfuckers really ain't connected to nothing. None of these real motherfucking A-listers out here can go directly back into the neighborhoods where they grew up and fuck with the people and touch them and love them and hug them. You know what I'm saying? Because they stepped on too, too many toes to get into the position where they are. 
And that's just real game. That's real spit. You know what I'm saying? We don't need to sugarcoat this shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep it 100. Motherfuckers out here scared to keep it 100, man. Be honest, man. You feel me? Take some fucking accountability. Motherfuckers normally, motherfuckers out here, you know, talking about shit that they never done. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. I just wanted to get on here, holler at the people, let them know that this shit is way bigger than what you're seeing with this R. Kelly shit. Way deeper. And we gonna find out later on, I guarantee, I bet you. Trust me. That's the way this fucking circus in this game goes. They make you jump through hoops, and then once you say, man, fuck that, I'm tired of jumping through these hoops. I don't want to do that. I want to do this over here. And you feel like you have the, the resources and, you know what I'm saying, the connections and the money to do what you want to do outside of their advisory. Then that's when they come at you. And they want to throw the kitchen sink and everything else. You know what I'm saying? Come along with that. That's bullshit. These motherfuckers are phony. That's why I say fuck them. Don't accept no invitations to any of their elusive parties, any of their elusive clubs. They offer you all this money, but like, fuck that. I don't want nothing without no comp. You dictate the stipulations, you know what I'm saying, of how y'all relationship gonna work. You write up your own damn contract. Check this out. I want this amount of percentage of this royalties. I want this ownership. You know what I'm saying? I don't want none of this other shit that come along with all this. You feel me? You have to be your own boss, man. You have to be your own legal team. This shit is all a game. And they, the money is what's controlling everything. The money make this shit go round. They act like money is everything. Shout out to Andrew Biggins earlier. I know that's a little bit off topic, but I'm still talking about my brothers here. You feel me? The media trying to twist and control a narrative. And they all talking about, I'm just trying to get you a little bit of exposure. Fuck you. After all that motherfucking stupid ass shit that you put in those tabloids and on the, on the headlines and the newspapers and, you know what I'm saying? And, and the TV networks, mainstream media, you're trying to destroy my character. Now you want to come up here and ask me a question to be all sympathetic. You know what I'm saying? To be sweet and nice trying to say you're trying to get me some exposure. I'm the athlete here. I get myself exposure every time I lace my motherfucking boots up. You know what I'm saying? And, and go out on that hardwood floor and do what I do. While you motherfuckers sitting behind a microphone just talking and shit. With your pen number two pencils and shit. Writing whatever you want to write in the paper. But you know nothing about motherfucking real life. Everything is to fucking control a narrative. That's what the media does. They paint R. Kelly to be a bad individual up and down, swear that, you know what I'm saying, he's out here fucking over all these motherfucking people, but guess what, those same people that he fucking over, guess who let them come around him and come to his shows, and come to his studios, you know what I'm saying, with no supervision, the parents, where they at, hold them accountable, yeah, because they've been paid off though, you know what I'm saying, they're not going to say that though, <clears throat> they're not going to say that, oh, we, we in the dough, you know what I'm saying, R. Kelly. You know what I'm saying? And allegedly, all them motherfucking girls that he was fucking with, or whoever he was fucking with, allegedly, you know what I'm talking about? All them motherfuckers can sing. Ain't that something weird about that? All of them can sing. All of them can do this. All of them was talented. You feel me? That's how they get motherfuckers. Too many leeches out here in the game, man. You should never expose your motherfucking children to somebody that you know is suspect when it comes to you know what I'm saying? Different sexual behaviors and misconduct around children. It's another way you can get on. And R. Kelly, he shouldn't have been hanging at the motherfucking high schools and shit. Boy, what the fuck was you doing at them damn high schools, boy? What you was doing at them damn colleges? Yeah, I'm talking about R. Kelly. You know what I'm saying? But I know one thing, he's still human. You feel me? He still bleed. Just like me and you. I ain't gonna throw him away, I'm gonna give him grace. 
what he did was wrong, of course. Feel me? But if I was one of them motherfucking parents, get your motherfucking ass over here. You don't be going around motherfuckers. Especially this motherfucker. You didn't see the other tape? Show ass down. Right, that part. Everybody want their little instant fame. Nobody want to put the work in. You feel me? We out here sucking and fucking and doing anything. We doing something strange for a little piece of change, man. You feel me? Shout out to Mike Epps. What the fuck is we doing about here? Everybody want that instant fame. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to put the work in, though. You know what I'm talking about? What is we doing about here? These parents got to be more role models and leaders. You feel me? Stop sending your motherfucking children to the beast just because you feel like you finna get instant money, instant fame, instant popularity. You know what I'm talking about? Because soon as somebody on the street call your daughter a bitch, you ready to kill every the whole damn neighborhood. Do you feel me? But then you're going to let this motherfucker do all that shit allegedly that he was doing to him? Then you want to come on television and, and talk on a fucking microphone? Fuck that. We ain't doing no motherfucking talking, man. Not up over my children and my family. You're going to do what you got to do to protect them. Whatever that look like. That's just the way it go. This shit is way bigger. It's bigger than what they telling you. Feel me? It's way bigger than what they tell you. So, I'm about to go start my day, you know what I'm saying, slaving. Thank you, God. You know what I'm saying, for my for my job. Thank you, God, for all my trials and tribulations. Thank you for taking me through the storm. Thank you for showing me what adversity looks like. And may you bless all the people that's serving a purpose. That's serving the right purpose. That's giving back. That's giving back. Help the people. Shout out to Kwame Graham. It's we the people. That's who makes this shit go round. Love, live, life, laugh, cry, smile. And, you know, I'm going to come back later, you know what I'm saying, and spit at y'all. You feel me? Because it's therapeutic for me. And I appreciate everyone who watches, everyone who listens, everyone who likes, share, and subscribe. Thank you. I appreciate you. So, y'all have a blessed day.